What does a 49 to 1, a 56 to 1, and a 64 to 1 NFED half wave antenna all have in common? It's the same antenna. This is the X antenna, this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. So here's the antenna that was sent to me. We've got the actual antenna itself, and inside that came these three little, uh, these are like two and a half millimeter banana plugs. And then we've got a roll of presumably uh, 70 feet of wire. Now, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room right here, because boy, this antenna looks exactly like a Pactenna and Fed. It's, I mean, I don't want to call it a blatant ripoff, but it kind of is a blatant ripoff. Other than um, you've, you've got a switch and um, like this ground pad and this antenna terminal uh, don't exist on the pack antenna. But other than that, um, kind of exactly the same thing. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, let's talk about this. So the, the main feature of this is that you can switch from a 49 to 1, a 56 to 1, or a 64 to 1. And his instructions say uh, that basically uh, due to varying types of installation, height, atmospheric conditions, etc., um, you might need to change it for to, to one of these or another, just kind of depending on your conditions. There are no set rules. Um, one thing that I found interesting on here is this, how long should your NFED wire be? And as I'm reading this, he says the best choices are 29, 35 and a half, 41, 58, and 71. This is to avoid half wavelengths. Um, that's just wrong. We're talking about an NFED half wave. NFED half wave. We do not want to avoid half wavelengths. We want half wavelength, so this needs to be corrected. These measurements are measurements for an antenna, but these are for a random wire antenna where you would be using something like a nine to one transformer, not a 49 to one. So um, disregard this because this is not right for this antenna. Um, Another thing which I thought was curious, and I'm gonna try, I, I have no clue what this is made of, but given that it's pretty much a carbon copy of the Pactenna, uh, is his rating for 60 watts sideband. Uh, and there is a 140-43 toroid in here. We can see right here uh, that he has labeled a 140-43. Well, that's uh, actually bigger than what's in the Pactenna. I think, I think the Pactenna does use a 140-43. I don't know why they look like a different size, but. Uh, you can run 100 watts through a pack 10 sideband all day. So I'm gonna try that with this and uh, see what happens. But for now, I need to uh, solder this antenna wire on. I think I'm just gonna solder it right to this pad. He did send me a note saying he's looking for any kind of uh, uh, feedback on it. One thing, if this actually were si uh, 71 feet, he says he included 70 feet. So not that it's a big deal, but because um, I'm gonna end up using 67 to 66 feet for a 40 meter and fed half wave. So uh, I'm just gonna cut this uh, to 40 meters and see what happens. If, if this actually works out really well and I like this, I probably will end up doing like a, 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 a multi-linked end uh, fed like I do with the, the pack 10 just to add 17 meters. But um, one thing I did notice, he's got some holes here for strain relief. Uh, I would suggest moving this hole up a little bit because if you're gonna use the banana plug connector here, that's putting a lot of strain right there, just a really tight turn on that, but uh, kind of nitpicking, but hey, he asked for feedback, so I'm giving feedback, but I think I'm gonna solder it right to this pad. Good enough. All right, let's go out in the field and see if we can tune this up. Oh, one other thing we need to do. We need to drill a hole right there so it will fit on my mast. Five thirty seconds should do you. So you can do this. All right, we are at the KMRD Proving Grounds, also known as Huntsville State Park. We've got the 
X10 right here. It's currently switched to the 49 to one position. And I'm just gonna hit the multi button on the rig expert just to see where we're at. This is just with all of the wire stretched out 70 feet, he says. Uh, I don't really expect it to be resident anywhere, but we have to take an initial reading. So one star on 40, that's not good. Not good on 20, not good on 17, not good on 15, not good on 12, great on 11. <laughs> 10, not so much. Uh, not terrible at 1.74 though. Here's something promising though. I'm just gonna hit this ham button. We're gonna look at the 40 meter band. Obviously we're way too long, which we know, but if we uh, zoom out, we can see that the SWR is really good right there. So we just need to shorten it up a little bit. Look at that. I mean, that's like 1.0 to one. So that means the transformer is wound. What am I on right now? I think I'm on the 64 to one. Yeah, we're on the 64 to one right now. So uh, actually I'm gonna see what is the 49 to one look like at that same frequency. We'll go ahead and scan that again. Not quite as good, but that's promising that we can get that good of SWR. So let's make it happen. I suspect usually 65 to 67 feet somewhere in there for once I actually brought a tape measure because I always get asked what's the final uh, length of the antenna when you cut it which is completely irrelevant don't go by the number that I tell you later but I'm gonna tell you so always cut long and trim for your environment I'm gonna get to hacking I'll come back when I get something uh, reasonable Okay, so about halfway through tuning this antenna, I decided to make a change because I was kind of getting some weird results and there's a lot of horse flies around right now. Uh, the antenna was currently hanging on this tree behind me and the antenna wire was, I don't know, probably six or, six or eight feet away from this metal grill. And I just kind of thought, you know, maybe that's interacting with it. This is actually uh, how I deploy this a lot. But I went ahead and I moved the antenna to, it's basically, uh, just going straight across this grass where we're at right now and uh, I cut another foot off so I've cut like five feet off total I think from what uh, the antenna came as stock and let's take it the uh, take a look at the results right now uh, they're they're actually quite pleasing okay so here you can see uh, the transformer it's up probably a, about a foot and a half higher than what it was when we were over there I don't think that's significant I think being just over grass farther away from metal uh, is, is what made these changes. So right now we're on the 49 to one. Let's take a look at what that's doing. We'll just go ahead and scan it. And let's go to 40 meters here. And here we can see like, it's actually the dip is way low, but if we go way over to there, I, I put it at like 70 uh, to 80. It was still like 1.3 to one. I mean, that's freaking awesome, okay? And I'm going to show you why I'm leaving it this way in a second. Let's take a look at 20. 20 looks great. Again, still low in the band, but at the very top portion of the band, you're still like 1.3 to 1. Okay. Let's take a look at 15. 15's looking pretty good under, uh, under 1.5 to 1. Uh, probably uh, right at the top of the band, about that 1.3-ish mark again. But here's why I don't want to cut this anymore. 10 meters is like already kind of perfect right in the sweet spot of the sideband portion. Usually I aim for like 28.4-ish. So if we cut any more, all that's gonna do is make us less resonant where we wanna be on 10 meters. So now I'm gonna change it to the 56 to one and we'll take a look and see how this changes. We'll go back down to 40. And we can see it actually dropped in frequency a little bit uh, to where it's resonant but still pretty darn good across the whole, the whole band. I mean, 1.5 to one or less. Let's take a look at 20. Now here, 20 actually raised in frequency, 1.01 to one, uh, right at 14.06. And you know, we're probably 1.3 to one-ish there at the top. So that's looking fantastic. Let's take a look at 15. 15 sitting pretty much perfect, a little bit low of the middle of the entire portion of the band, but Again, you're looking at like 1.3 to one or less across the entire band. And let's take a look at 10. 
So 10 is absolutely perfect, but it raised in frequency. So having it on the 49 to 1 was actually better, being that I kind of want to aim for that four, uh, 28. Uh, 0.4, so we're resonating at 28.53. Still okay, I mean, we're under 1.5 to 1 across this whole thing. In fact, if we zoom in a little bit, uh, let's just look at one megahertz of bandwidth there. Uh, let's go to 28.4 ish. Close enough. I mean, we're, we're spot on for like the entire phone portion of kind of where the technicians and, and the generals and stuff, I mean, at the, at the very bottom, we're still 1.17. And, you know, you might find people up here a little bit. And you're still fantastic. Uh, even if, if you're up in, uh, where is it, 29,600, I think, is where some of the FM stuff happens. Let's see what that looks like. Still, you could still do uh, FM, uh, and this is on the 56 to 1. And now let's change it to the 64 to 1 and see what happens. Take a look at 40 meters here. Still low in the band, uh, but they're all pretty darn close. But let's take a look at 20 now. 20 again is raised up just like when it was on the 56 to 1. And again, still maybe 1.3 towards the top. So still fantastic. Let's look at 15 meters. Whoa, 15 meters got a lot better there. We're 1.06 at 21.2. And really, kind of where everybody hangs out is more like, for sideband anyway, kind of in the 300s. So you're, you're just looking absolutely fantastic there. Let's go to 10 meters. And again, this is the 64 to 1. So 28.55, again, still under 1.5 to 1 across a ginormous swath of the uh, band here. Let's go up to 29-ish, uh, whoops. 29.6, I think, what did I say? Good enough. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you're still 2 to 1 in the FM portion, so. That's pretty awesome. So that is some pretty neat and interesting results. Uh, being able to change from a 49 to a 56 to a 64 to one antenna. Uh, and <laughs> while 40 meters, I would really have liked to have that dip more in the middle, uh, it's still so good across the entire band at like 1.33 uh, at the top end of the band. I gotta leave it because that'll throw off everything else especially that 10 meters and 10 meters is so hot right now like that's that's where i want to be i'd have to use a tuner if we if we sweetened up 40 but that would also affect 15 so that's kind of cool i've only tried this in a sloper uh you might could try putting up the wire uh or the transformer higher see if that changes things I mean, there's a lot of different experimenting you can do but this is how i'm going to set up this antenna or any end fed uh, 99.9% .9 of the time just because it's so freaking easy. That's why I use this kind of antenna. So uh, as far as performance, I haven't gotten it on the air. I suspect it's going to perform exactly as any other NFED half wave antenna that's tuned to the way this is tuned. Uh, but I will definitely get it on the air, just not in this video. So far, I'm giving this the KMRD seal of approval. I think this is fantastic. Uh, Jay Andrews, I'm sorry I forget your name. Thanks for sending this, totally unexpected. This just came in my door, uh, in my mailbox. I had no idea it was sending it to me. I never knew this guy even existed uh, until now. So uh, that's pretty awesome. So very cool. I'll leave a link in the description for this if you wanna pick one up. And in the meantime, we will see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73 guys. Oh, well, that's right. I forgot I said I'd tell you how long this was at the end. Well, for those of you that watched till the end, it is 19 meters, 88, uh, maybe 89 centimeters. And in feet, that's, ah, who cares about feet? Just do it in metric.